Did a friend of the channel find all 12 of those M Network games? Let's get into it. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of the Good Times News Live Flashcast. That's right. That's right. This is a little follow-up for our M Network purchase story from Atari. And in the comments, friend of the channel Obsidian Contraption came up and said this in the comments. First, he said, I like how you got the wiki notice about alien abduction. That was pretty hilarious, actually. I put alien abduction in the um, in the title of the video. And um, I guess it got, like, fact-checked or whatever. And it's like, hey, alien abductions are, what does it say? It's uh, it's it's wild. Um, it says something like, oh, alien abduction refers to the phenomenon of people reporting an experience being kidnapped and subjected to physical and psychological experimentation by an alien figure from the Wikipedia. Like it's like in my video, it's like on top of my video all the time. I don't know if it's like suppressing the video or whatever, because it really didn't do well. But um, anyway, I thought that was pretty hilarious. And so did Obsidian. Uh, but he also said, by the way, all the announced games are on Atari Vault 2 already. And I went, hmm, are they? Let's do a fact check of our own. Um, of course, you know, of course I was like, all right, well, he must, he must know. But what are they? What are the 12 titles? Well, let's find out. Let's go. <clears throat> Here we are on the Atari VCS. All right, in the vault, vault two, it says these rarities include 14 vintage Atari arcade games from the 70s, six 5200 Atari titles, and 12. Atari 2600 games from the M network, hmm. as well as eight prototype games and limited issue, limited edition homebrews for the Atari 2600. If you guys don't know what Vault 2 is and you own a VCS, five bucks on the store, it's totally worth it. It's totally worth it to get all these games. And, well, apparently, we get a list of all the games that are on Vault 2, so let's launch it. So... This is pretty exciting because, you know, if we know at least the 12 games that were licensed, well, not licensed, but now purchased and owned by Atari, they said more than 12. So I'm still saying that some of those unreleased stuff, unreleased codes and whatnot are part of this. Um, but at least we know exactly the 12 um, that we are probably talking about. So when you're in Vault, if you go to your list, you can hit X to switch to things like, oh, hey, we can play Adventure 2, which actually should probably do a fun for five on that. But anyway, right here, Air Raiders is one. There's Air Raiders right there. We got Armor Ambush. We got Astro Blast. We got Dark Cavern. So I don't know why they didn't put that on the list as a highlight, but, you know, like, Dark Cavern is essentially Night Stalker. So, like, what? You should put that on the list, right? We got Frogs and Flies. We got international soccer, but not the other games, not the other sports games. Uh, sea Battle, Space Attack, Star Strike. Oh, actually, never mind. There they are. <laughs> Super Challenge Baseball and Super Challenge Football. Um, <laughs> no, the, the other sports games aren't on that. Yes, they are. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and Sword Fight. So my list, my initial list is like nearly correct. So those are the 12. Those are the 12. So it's Sword Fight, Super Challenge Football, Super Challenge Baseball, Star Strike, Space Attack, Sea Battle, International Soccer, Frogs and Flies, Dark Cavern, Astro Blast, and Armor, Ambush, and Air Raiders. Those are, the, those are essentially the games that I, I selected out of the list when we were doing the, the other news line. But not only, you know, not only does Atari own these titles now and the M Network brand, but if you want to play them, Five bucks says you can do it right now on Atari VCS. Just saying. Just saying. And shout out again to Obsidian Contraption for that uh, that little bit of news, um, which is awesome. So let's go to the wrap-up here. Because uh, anyway, we're going to make this a quick video, and then we're going to get out of here. <clears throat> So how cool is that? You know, we didn't even have to wait long for answers to the M Network games, and we don't technically even need to wait to play these games. So 
what I think is going to happen is maybe some more fun for fives as we dive back in. Let's play some Air Raiders and let's play some Dark Caverns and all that kind of stuff from the N Network games on the Atari Vault, shall we? Hmm. Let me know down below in the comments if you want to see me go through and fun for five some of these games or maybe even all of them because, you know, again, it's newsworthy and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, I'll be happy to do that as long as somebody says, yeah, go, let's, let's go. So isn't that exciting? Now we kind of know. We'll at least know 12 because they're right there. You know, like why why license them and put them in the vault and then not buy them in the purchase? You, no, come on. Come on. That, those are the 12. Those are the 12. But the 12 and more, I'm thinking those unreleased ones. I'm, I'm still thinking those unreleased ones. And again, sad face. Yes, I know. No Trons, no Kool-Aid Mans, no He-Mans, none of that. I don't think. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because again, it's too, it's too much... Um, rigmarole of getting all of the backup licenses for all those titles. I just don't think that those are happening. Uh, and, the, and, and also, sadly, the AD&D games, because they, they were also not on this list. So a um, so bit of a sad face there, but some more light has been shed. And thanks again to Obsidian Contraption for letting me know down in the comments below. What can you guys do? You can guys let me know down in the comments below what you think about the story, what you think about this. Do you already own Atari Vault? Are you now already playing all of these 12M network games? Again, let me know down below. And, well, that is the end of a, a video here at Bacon Ice Cream Productions. And because it's the end of a video on, the, on, on Bacon Ice Cream Productions, we must say thank you to the members of the Good Times Club. So thank you, The Ever Canadian. Thank you, Crimson Cross. Thank you, George Games. Thank you, Chris Westerman. Thank you, Fanafiction. Thank you, Skeletrex. And thank you, Lloyd R. Jim, all for being members of the Good Times Club and for pushing me to do awesome things like the video that you guys just got yesterday um dropped right into your members only inbox um the second episode of retro riches restorations was i successful was i not i don't know well they know but you guys will know next friday so um all right cool that's it we're out i'm gonna go uh well do my morning stuff um because it is sunday and we gotta do chores and church and all sorts of fun stuff so we're gonna do that and then um hope you guys are having a great weekend and, you know, play some Mem Network on the Atari BCS, right? Go, go ahead and do that. All right, awesome. See you later, guys. Well, actually, until next time, we'll catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we'll see you later. All right, that's how we do that, right? All right, cool. It's early in the morning. Come on, come on, guys. Get ice cream dot com.